Ahoy Rum Explorers, I'm Nia, I'm a rum enthusiast, and it is rum time! Again, R-H-U-M, back at this Haitian amazing rum series. I'm so excited to bring you another rum from Haiti. This one in specific is from the same company that I reviewed before. If you remember, this is Sans Ange, and I'll put the card up above here so you can re-watch this. This is an amazing blend of Clairon and Agricole. Haitian rums. It is quite, quite smooth. Um, this is an entry level rum, in my opinion, rum agricole. So if you are interested in trying this, definitely scoop this up. Now, this same company came up with this one, which I think is very interesting. This one is Sans Ange, which means without angels. And it means, um, and the coloring is blue. And this one, that's Ac Ange which is with angels because this one is actually aged in French oak barrels which means uh, with angels because they'll have angel share now they're saying that this one specifically um, loses approximately 10% annually to angel share this is operated and owned by the Lynch family in Haiti and basically it's an homage to their history of rum making since the 1800s and they use um they use copper stills which is very very interesting now this family has quite a legacy so i'm very excited to try this one as you know a lot of the rum agricoles are not usually aged but this one is so i'm excited they have a very cool wax seal if you can see here um the artist on this is Javier de la Tour. He's also a Haitian artist. Now don't forget that I will be putting the link down below to the GoFundMe page uh, for the local soup kitchen that Indigo Traveler did share in the video. I'll also put the link to the video exposing what's going on in Haiti and how rough the conditions are. So we definitely want to support those kids. The other thing is, if you did not watch my previous video, I did do a giveaway. If you're not a subscriber, definitely subscribe so you can be automatically entered in the giveaway of the Clairon Casimir bottle. Yes, Clairon Casimir bottle, which is very rare to find. I'm giving that away. So if you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button, click the little bell so you'll be notified when my new reviews, rum running vlogs, or regular vlogs come out. And if you've tried this one, make sure you comment down below because I'm excited to hear everybody's perspective on these blends. Now these are very, very unique bottles and blends of rum agricole. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Now this is supposed to be wax and it says just to twist and pop open. Let's wait for that pop. Ooh, nice pop. Once again, plastic cork, which is not a bad thing. Just an observation, not criticizing. I'm very excited. This is a very deep, um, I'd say light amber color is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and pour just a smidge in here. And let's move forward with the review. Okay, and I'm back. So as far as the oak, French oak cask, I was already expecting some sweetness to this rum. I did not expect this amount of sweetness though, in all honesty. So I'm a little bit, um, I wanna do some further research on this rum. Now they don't say how long they age it, and they don't say that if they do any additives, but honestly, as far as the notes, and these again are my personal notes, I'm getting sweetness, raisin, a little bit of tobacco, toffee, I'm getting like a root beer kind of smell, biscuits that you would dip in like a cappuccino at a very nice cafe. Those are the notes I'm getting, which is quite surprising. Now, on the palate, it is very sweet as well, and as far as the finish, I, 
I don't know why, but I am getting kind of like a root beer taste at the end. So it's not as sweet as root beer, but it's quite, quite close, which is very surprising. So I have a little tip for you out there, which is if you ever want to see if a rum has any additives, and we're going to go ahead and do this test today because we have found this out, is basically you can dip your finger in here and basically swish your fingers together. Now typically if it has any additives, it's gonna get very sticky eventually. You're gonna get like residue on it. That means they have sugar added or potential colorings. Now, I'm not getting anything like that, which is very interesting because it is very, very sweet. This would actually be, if you like Spanish style rums, that is the closest thing I can relate to. If you like those Spanish heritage rums, I highly suggest getting this one. The price for of these bottles was like $40 with tax, which is quite impressive because they're very, very excellent rums. I'm happy I was able to scoop these up. I was able to scoop this one up once again at Primo's in Fort Lauderdale. They have an amazing rum selection. I never go there and not spend a shit ton of money. So huge shout out to them for always stepping up their rum collection game and all spirits actually, but I obviously go there for rum. Now, I've let this, um, you know, I kept on rubbing it as I kept on talking and there's actually no residue. So this flavoring is from the French oak cask, which is quite impressive. Now, usually French oak casks are gonna be cognac barrels, which as we all know, they're not very, very sweet. So I'm very, very interested to see how many years this is aged because they do not say it. And I wonder what kind of actual French oak casks these are because I wouldn't be surprised if they are not cognac barrels. Now, as far as the journal rum type, this is going to be a rum agricole. As far as the Gargano rum type classification, this is going to be a pure single agricole. As far as a... As far as the Royal Rum Society from dry to sweet, I did give this a 7. It is very high. Again, if you are a fan of the Spanish style rums, this is actually giving me, I know this is gonna sound crazy because they're very, very different types of rums and even the source materials are quite different, but it is giving me a, a very close reminder to the Santa Teresa, which is a Venezuelan rum and actually one of my new favorites as far as the Spanish style rums. Let me show you that bottle. So if you do see it, you definitely scoop it up. It's a very, very, well-made rum. 